Welcome to my new video which is about the analysis made by the analysts that Amazon shares could nearly triple from here. This is very important news as Amazon has created what is one of the world's best growth businesses. Amazon uh, Web Services just might be the most valuable business on earth and the most undervalued. Clearly the optimistic view of the long term potential of AWS is not reflected in the current valuation for Amazon.com stock ticker AMZN which has fallen 35% so far this year and more than 40% since its November peak now valued at about 1.1 trillion dollars amazon shares have been hurt by a combination of factors which go well beyond the general market malaise the performance of the company's uh, e-commerce business which boomed during the darkest months of the pandemic has fallen short of investor expectations in recent quarters as uh, some shoppers return to physical stores amazon has conceded that as it built out resources to respond to soaring the pandemic era demand it overexpanded its logistics infrastructures and staff in floating costs In floating costs, the company continues to face intense regulatory scrutiny while dealing with the spike in fuel costs and contending with ongoing battles from unions looking to organize Amazon's workforce. And yet in the company's cloud business, Amazon has created what is our probably one of the world's best growth business, one that's still in its infancy. In a report which is launching coverage of the cloud sector, analyst, UK-based analyst research firm has analyzed that AWS is worth $3 trillion, she is not quite as wildly bullish about Microsoft. MSFT plus 1.47% MSFT as you but nonetheless thinks that business is worth $1 trillion or about half of Microsoft's current market cap. In the report which is launched uh, a coverage of both Amazon and Microsoft with buy ratings, the analyst sees more limited opportunity for two other key players in the cloud business. Picking up the data warehousing and analytics company Snowflake Snow minus 0.51% with a neutral routing and database software company MongoDB MDB with a sell. He set target prices up to $70 on Amazon now $109, $370 on Microsoft which is now $260. So in the report Amazon and Microsoft both were covered with buy ratings and it was shown that more limited opportunity for two other key players in the cloud business. Picking up the data warehousing and analytic companies Snowflake with a neutral rating and database software company with a sell. He set target prices up to $70 on Amazon which is now $109, $370 on Microsoft which is now on $260 and $125 on Snowflake recently around $143 and $190 on MongoDB well below its recent $277 price. In trading, the Amazon was up 1.1%, Microsoft was up for 1.5% higher, and MongoDB was down 0.6%, and Snowflake was off 0.5%. The Nasdaq composite was flat. 
therefore the it was uh, the analysis that the cloud companies can sustain high growth for much longer than the street generally expects which points out that the estimates for aws on average are 20 percent above consensus for the next five years so at some point the report said that amazon could decide to separate aws from the rest of the company the analyst reports that amazon's data lake service known as 3 dollar or simple storage service stores more than 100 trillion data objects more than 13,000 on average for every person on the planet he estimates that 3 dollar alone is a business worth 1.5 trillion dollars about the current market cap for google parent alphabet he also points out that all three cloud infrastructure provides offer tools on top of their data lakes to effectively use the information store. The strength of AWS, Azure and GCP, he says, is that they have all the tools customers want. <coughs> Therefore, uh, in the end, uh, he said that the problem is twofold. Firstly, the valuation consideration and how shareholders get diluted and secondly, the broader implications for the business and cost structure. In a scenario where the stocks stay low for longer, employees might demand higher salaries which has far-reaching implications for the margin potential of the business. Hopefully, you have enjoyed the video. It is requested to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Thank you so much.